good Monday morning, Kern County. Well, look at this live picture from Breckenridge. I'm just going to stand out of the way because this is pretty incredible stuff. And I'm Leah Steinberg. Oh, it's finally the weekend, Lindsay. <laughs> hey, everyone. Yeah, if you want to head out to that race, it should be fun. But you might need a light jacket as we are tracking some rain here, especially in the Kern River Valley. I want to zoom you all the way in. Adams. And I'm Leah Steinberg. Before we get to the goal. The goal. Let's get to the forecast. I've got my shoes off. I got my feet in the water. It's so nice out here and it's a great way to cool off because we are expecting record heat this weekend. We're live though in uh, downtown Los Angeles. If you're heading that way though, be careful of those winds, especially over the grapevine. That's where we're seeing our gustiest winds at the moment. Just south of Pine Mountain Club headed straight toward Taft and toward the I-5 right now. So if you are headed north or south on this uh, highway, please be careful as we could see some significant flooding in the area. I stopped the clock Monday night at 8 8 30 p.m. is when I think the storm will be uh, the most impactful, at least for the county. So, as you can see from our Pacific Storms map, this ridge of high pressure is really going to keep things nice and toasty for us over the next several days. No marine layer in sight if you're heading out to the coast. Get out there, it's so nice. This area in yellow indicates some cloud to ground lightning thunderstorms, so this could be a very dangerous situation for drivers. It is starting to rain out here, and the dark clouds are beginning to roll in. The whole entire state is looking beautiful, and you can see this jet stream just pushing all the clouds just to our north, but unfortunately, this means still very bad air quality. Gonna get a little bit humid, maybe not the best time for the straightener. Just let it go natural. <laughs> That's what I always say. We are seeing one accident right now on the I 5. It looks like there is a car fire. If you're heading southbound at the Stockdale Highway exit, the right hand shoulder is currently blocked, so take it easy over there. There are two incidents to report to this morning. One is in Bakersfield, just near Panama Lane at Cottonwood Road. There is an accident there. No information yet on injuries, so I'll keep you updated with that one, but do expect delays in that area. Also, if you're heading on the I-5 northbound, there is another uh, overturned collision there, and that is on the uh, shoulder. So it's not blocking traffic at this hour. However, uh, just expect delays in that area as well. Otherwise, it looks like everything else should be in the clear. Back to you, Mike and Aaron. Good Monday morning, Kern County. Well, look at this live picture from Breckenridge. I'm just going to stand out of the way because this is pretty incredible stuff. Look at that folks that is definitely some white powder just coming right at you in the face there and we just got word that El Tejon Unified School District is on a two hour snow and ice delay so those folks can just take it easy and enjoy that snow up in the mountains there as we take a look at our storm chill Doppler here is where it's really coming down mostly near Vegas there this morning but as we zoom into our area we are continuing to see some very heavy downpours especially up in the mountains this morning uh, here in the valley we saw it mostly in the overnight hours and things are just starting to calm down uh, now. We're still seeing some very light rain, but like I said, the majority of it is staying uh, well into the mountain areas. So just north of Tehachapi is where we're seeing a lot of rainfall and some snow accumulation. 178 getting some moderate rainfall, as you can see, is a cell in yellow, all the way up to the Lake Isabella area. And this has prompted the National Weather Service to issue a winter weather advisory until 4 p.m. this afternoon. And I just posted our 24 hour rain totals on our website, turn to 23.com. So uh, get on online there and we can see how much we've seen so far in the last 24 hours. In the meantime, though, temperature is looking very frigid this morning. 26 degrees in Breckenridge, 39 in Mojave, 37 in Lancaster. Is it March? It definitely doesn't feel like it. It's pretty chilly out there. 49 right now in Bakersfield and in Lamont. So only getting up to 61 degrees today in Bakersfield, 52 in Lake Isabella, 45 for a high today in Fraser Park. All overnight lows staying in those 30s with us getting down to about 43 degrees. As we take a look outside in your traffic now, things are looking very nice out on the roads. But like I said, snow and ice delay up in the mountains at El Tejon Unified School District. Otherwise, everything else is looking pretty nice. But definitely take it easy with those slick roads. Back to you, Mike. Aaron. But I want to start you off with this beautiful photo from California City sent in by Lydia Welsh. Thank you so much for sending this in. If you have photos like this one, find me on Facebook and Twitter at Leah Steinberg 23 ABC. I'd love to see what's going on in your area. So it's going to be a very, very active scene today in the weather. We're expecting some thunderstorms today all the way through Wednesday. Blowing dust and flooding is a possibility as well as some high humidity and those hot temperatures continue on today. All thanks to a big ridge of high pressure in the southwest brought a lot of thunderstorm activity in the 
the Phoenix area, and now it's all beginning to push west into California. Right here in Kern County, as a matter of fact, as we take a look at our storm shield Doppler, most of these storms are moving in, mostly to the eastern portion of the county near Ridgecrest and California City. Those areas in yellow indicate thunderstorm activity, so like right there is where we're getting to see all of the thunderstorms beginning to roll in, but we are expecting most of that to happen by the afternoon. Zooming you way into the county line, most of the activity is happening just near Highway 58 near Bear Valley Springs, so be careful if you are heading out on that road today. Here's a live look from Tehachapi. Very gloomy and uh, dark out there this morning with those dark clouds. Here at home, 84 degrees. Going to be a very hot day today with humidity at 34%. Our temperature is also looking warm around the county as well. 84 in Lamont, 77 near Button Willow, and 85 on the west side in Taft. A little bit cooler in our mountains right now. 62 in Bear Valley Springs and 84 right now down in Mojave. Today, like I said, going to be very hot at 107. Going to be the hottest day of the week right now. And it's going to be uh, very gusty, especially with winds in the afternoon. Could gust up to about 20 miles per hour. Tonight, getting down to about 78 with a slight chance for some storms here in the valley. But most of it will stay in the Kern River Valley and in our mountains as well. Air quality does remain in the moderate range today and going to be a scorcher across the valley today. 107 also in Wasco and 103 in Arvin with overnight lows in the upper 70s. In our mountains today, 101 in Lake Isabella and 93 in Tehachapi. And as we head into our deserts, can escape those triple digits in Ridgecrest today at 105 and 102 in Edwards Air Force Base. Let's take a quick look at that seven day forecast because today is going to be the worst day of the week. Luckily, calming down a little bit just by the end of the week, but still in those triple digits throughout the rest of the week with overnight lows staying in those 70s. So just pack the water and be careful if you are heading out on the roads today. Humid today and tomorrow in the Kern River Valley and dipping down into those mid 90s by the end of the week. And in the mountains, a 20% chance of rain by Tuesday and dipping into those 80s by the end of the week. Let's take a look outside in your traffic now. Things are looking not too bad out on the roads there this morning as you begin to head out for work. Looks like everything should be in the clear. Just be careful of some possibility of some blowing dust by the afternoon. Back to you. It was another wild weather day in Kern County with heavy rain, wind, and even a landslide that shut down Highway 178. The storm caused many power outages that left thousands without power. So we were watching it, and all of a sudden it was getting towards dark, and it got dark because all the lights were not working. And I was trying to cook my dinner. And, and while the storm was brewing, those without power suffered with no air conditioning for several hours. It was hot. It was hot. So it wasn't good. Everything was flooding. <laughs> the Shell gas station in Lake Isabella also lost power, forcing management to close their doors. Even after I closed the doors and locked it because we had no power, I had people coming in, wanting to come in. Oh, I'm going to get a beer. You know, sit and watch the storm. Okay. Hail, high winds, and a lot of thunderstorms and rain didn't stop Lake Isabella residents from enjoying the view. I like how the lightning uh, uh, goes. The National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning earlier this afternoon for north central Kern County that resulted in heavy downpours and lightning that lit up the summer sky. You know, if you went out and sat in the yard in a lounge chair, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> 